Welcome back, everybody. It's another episode of Replacing Russ, and we are in the Super Bowl 2027. The Broncos taking on the San Francisco 49ers, and we have a couple things of note as the Pro Bowl just happened. The season wrapped up, and we now have two new X Factor players. Nate Green, our six foot seven wide receiver, turned tight end, was named the offensive rookie of the year in the AFC, and he is now an X Factor development trait. On the defensive side, our former number one overall pick, who we traded up to get. Keep in mind, he was normal development after winning Defensive Rookie of the Year and then being in the top four of Defensive Player of the Year this year, Kevon Richards is now an X-Factor. We are loaded on this roster now. We have multiple X-Factors across the board. Even though PS2 is 99 overall, he somehow slipped and went down uh, as no longer X-Factor. Doesn't matter. Because PS2 is still 99 overall. We have we drafted a superstar safety. Drew Sanders, a superstar. Couple X factors on the offense, and we are cooking heading in to the Super Bowl, where we are taking on the also 10 and 7 regular season uh San Francisco 49ers. Let's go take a look at their roster before we get into the Super Bowl. Uh I am excited. I have not played in the Super Bowl on Madden 24, so we will see. What happens? Although it looks like Fred Warner is injured. Okay, Brock Purdy, 91 overall. Christian McCaffrey. This is going to be a lot of the same team. Yep, Debo, Ayuk, some guy named Randy Forbes who runs uh, really fast. George Kittle. Okay, their offensive line's pretty good. They're pretty good. They don't have a right. Oh, okay, there he is. Still have Joey Bosa. A superstar defensive tackle. Fred, if Fred Warner's out, that's going to be huge for us. Still have Dre Greenlaw, Trevarius er, Ward, Diamandre Lenore. 6'3", third corner. Okay. Will Wilcox, what a name. And then Hufanga is 95 overall. This team is very similar to what they just put in the Super Bowl this year um, in real life. But it doesn't matter. We are here for the Super Bowl, the first time the Broncos have been in the Super Bowl in over a decade, 2027, we will be wearing. We will be wearing our orange jerseys. This could be the potential. This is probably the last season uh, in real life with these jerseys. So we got to wear them while we can in the Super Bowl, taking on the 49ers. I cannot believe that this team has dragged itself here after the injury, after injury that we faced at the beginning of the season. The home of the Super Bowl. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the 49ers and the Broncos. And it's all up next. Phil Holcomb and Brock Purdy. We are in Raymond James Stadium. There he is, the golden boy, the man who replaced Russell Wilson. And hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at it is Broncos Super Bowl game. time, baby. The coin toss is up. To keep that going they like their record. Now they want to increase it. A win here could really get the momentum going. And the Niners will get the ball first. Lionel Brothers will return it. I have not been, I have not watched a Super, I, I've not been in the Super Bowl in Madden 24, so I'm very excited to see how this goes. I am playing offense only. Good stop by the defense already. Oh my goodness, did we get a turnover already? We have historically not performed well in the Super Bowl wearing orange jerseys. Um, if I remember correctly, we have won every Super Bowl that we have played in, in either white jerseys or navy blue. We are 0 for maybe 4, 0 for 4 in orange jerseys, including 2013. Obviously, the loss to Seattle was brutal. 
Oh, get off me. Oh, my God. Zaire Johnson came to play today. Back-to-back -back games with over 100 yards rushing, and he looks poised to do the same. I'm, like, nervous. Ooh, Charvarius Ward almost picked that off. I thought JT Booth was cutting in front. Oh, man, if we would have thrown a pick right there, I would have been really disappointed. Phil Holcomb, after his four-interception performance against Buffalo in the Super Wild Card round, he has thrown eight touchdowns to just one pick the rest of the entire playoffs. I need that block, Randall. Fullback could not get extended on that block, so we are facing a very big third down early in this game. Obviously, we have to get points. I just want to see what this does to the defense. Okay, okay, okay. Joey Bosa. Joey Bosa is in the backfield before we can even throw it to the check down. And we're going to have the kicker of the year, Jake Verity, come on to kick a 35-yarder. He puts it up. It's through. 3-0 here in the Super Bowl. The Broncos score first. All right, defense, let's keep it up. Big. Let's go. Zaire, baby, let's go. Zaire Johnson was one of the first draft picks I can remember making. Third round running back, I think, out of Pittsburgh. He has came in here. He was he played with Javante Williams for a season. He was kind of the change of pace back. Couldn't re-sign Javante Williams. Let him take over the role. We ran with him. We didn't really have much of a second back last year. That's why we added Jameer Gibbs. And adding Jameer Gibbs has been everything you would think it be, you would be. I, Jameer Gibbs is one of the best running backs in football. And for some reason on Madden, I don't know if I just didn't load the latest rosters. I've been doing this for a long time. But he's a star development, only 83 overall. It's probably because they had um, – Oh, the game lagged so bad right there. How does that even happen offline? Russ Yeast, former Kansas State Wildcat with the PBU. Shout out. Shout out, Coach Kleiman. Oh, please. Please don't take a bounce. Oh, come on, JK. Uh, JK Scott has been a really bad punter for me. At least when I try to punt with him. I'm sure he's great when the CPU does it. All right, that's a touchdown for the Niners. We're down 7-3. to three. We have 31 total yards of offense right now. We have to make some plays. Dre Greenlaw is just all over the place. Fred Warner not – if Fred Warner was playing, I'm not sure – I'm not sure we would get one yard. Oh, yeah, that's why we have Jameer Gibbs right there. Yep, yep. That's why we have Jameer Gibbs right there. That was an insane play. There was nothing open. Not a single lane open, and he turned it into 13 yards. Hey, we're fine. We are fine right now. We're keeping the ball on the ground. We're keeping the ball on the ground, okay? You got to control this game. You got to do what we've done the last two games. That's how we've won. That's how we've won. Uh-oh. Oh, that's horrible. That is so horrible. Oh, man. We cannot have a Zaire Johnson injury in the Super Bowl. If you have been watching the last couple episodes, we have ran the ball so well. With Zaire Johnson. I cannot afford to have him go down. Luckily, luckily, we have Jameer Gibbs. He's one of the best running backs in the NFL. 
Oh, he has a bruised knee. Okay, we're going to keep Jameer Gibbs in for now. Hopefully by the second half. Hopefully by the second half we can get him back. Doesn't matter. Jameer Gibbs is so fast. I honestly don't even feel like throwing it right now. Because we've been moving the ball so well on the ground. Until we ran into Joey Bosa right there. Now we got Bosa in his zone. Not ideal. All right, hit the check down four yards. All right, we got to pick our plays here nicely. All right, we have another trail route here. I'm going to leave Gibbs in the block. We got Hodges. Hodges is our first read. Green is our second. Easy. Easy money. The Kent State receiver, three touchdowns last week in the AFC Championship game. Did not mean to snap that so soon. Oh, he hung on. Let's go. Oh, what a crazy ill-advised throw from Phil, but it doesn't matter. Ray Hodges catches it, and we're up 10-7. Woo, and I don't know if you've seen that. But Bosa got hurt on that play. He's obviously back in the game, but he did get hurt on that play. Gotcha. Gotcha with the RPO, boy. All right, we got some room. Got a little bit of room. All right. Second and four. We have to make a play. We need this first down. That'll do it, baby. Let's go. All right, we can kind of go hurry up here. We kind of have to. Oh, no way they don't cover this, right? No way they don't cover this. We saw that play work last game. It was a little bit different look, a little bit different formation, but that is, oh man, let's go. I called the draw with no intention of running the draw. 50 seconds on the clock. All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna go. If we get a first down here, we gotta, we gotta spike it. We gotta spike it if we get a first down. Come on, 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 come on. All right, spiked it. We're good. 18 seconds. We're on the 31-yard line. Eighteen seconds on the 31-yard line. Oh, there we go. We know we have we know we have one on one. With Quez Watkins. Oh, baby. Let's go. The motion showed the 49ers play, and I ran it to perfection. Quez Watkins in the end zone. What a throw from Phil. What a throw. Wide open. That is another touchdown for Quez Watkins this postseason. He has been phenomenal. Get the ball to start the third quarter. Look who's back, baby. Look who's back. That's Mr. Zaire Johnson. Well, he gets wrecked on his first playback, but welcome back. They're doing a really good job of keying in on uh, 
keying in on Zaire Johnson. He has not been able to get much going on the ground. Oh, baby, we'll throw it to the fullback, Randall Newman. Phil, 9 for 12, it said. I'll take that. Hey, this is a big play. We have to keep them on their toes. We haven't been running our motion at all yet. Where's that? Here we go. Here we go. Deep fork. Are they in cover two? Is Daquan Potter going to be open? What do we got? Let's go, Daquan. There are so many options on this out of this out of this package. This is one of my favorite packages in the entire game of Madden. Here comes Potter on a crosser now. We're gonna have Quez Watkins in behind. Okay, granted, really good coverage from K State Wildcat Russ Yeast. We'll take it, though. Six yards. Oh, we couldn't quite get there. And Jamichael Pitts, who got hurt last week, goes down again. Hufanga. Hufanga was there to knock it away from Nate Green. We're going to keep Jamichael Pitts in. This is Super Bowl. All right, we need a good punt here. I'm actually doing a backspin punt. On the off chance, I don't punt it through the back of the end zone. Hey, that's a pretty good punt, JK. JK Scott pins him at the 12. Christian McCaffrey, 52 yards against his dad's former team. I suppose his dad played for both teams, but... That's a that's a gut wrenching touchdown right there. We have to get something going offensively. Just 91 rushing yards on the day. There's four there though, and that's gonna take us to the end of the third quarter. 17 to 14. We are up on the 49ers in the Super Bowl. We have only ran 30 plays. They've ran 43. Yet, we hold a lead. Man, Dre Greenlaw, if they have, like, not having Fred Warner is a crazy advantage that we have right now. Third and four, though. Man, the defensive line just shut that gap up. Crazy. All right, what are we running here? Let's go. Let's go. Phil identifies the play and throws it to Jameer Gibbs out of the backfield. That is why we got him. That is why we got Jameer Gibbs for that exact reason right there. He can catch the ball out of the backfield better than almost any back in the league, maybe other than Christian McCaffrey, maybe Rashad White in my opinion. Uh, those are some of the best pass catching backs in the league. But Jameer Gibbs, we are lucky to have him. And he's carrying it well, too. Eight carries for 66 yards. Okay, okay, two. What do you want, two? Look at this juke move right here. See ya. Man, Hufanga is so good on this game, though. Hey, PS2's pumped about it. He's sitting on the sideline. Let's get back to eye form here. Six and a half minutes to go. We're in no hurry here. We're in no hurry here. I'm going to let the play clock run down as far as I can. 
There goes Cam Wallace, the third string. 15 yard carry, let's go. Here we go, better viewer experience. I put on two clocks, so we don't have to sit here and wait for the clock to tick down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. The offensive line dominating up front right now. Here we go, a little power to the right. I'm going to need Wanya, who was, I think Wanya Morris, our right tackle we traded for from the Chiefs before the season started, is like the third best in the entire league. Wow! Zaire Johnson down to the one. What a run. I don't know what I'm going to run here. First and goal. Definitely run committing to this. Never mind, doesn't matter. Zaire Johnson. Hit your dance, boy. Randall Newman clearing the path for Zaire Johnson. Touchdown in the Super Bowl. Come on, defense. Let's go defense. Let's go. Turn them over on down, baby. It's over now, baby. It's over now. Come on. Oh, baby, we are just running out the clock. We got to get a couple more first downs. Oh, can you believe this? We have taken, this is season five, 2027. We have taken the lowly, real-life Denver Broncos roster. We have retooled it. We have reshaped it. We have replaced Russell Wilson with Phil Holcomb, and we are two minutes away from winning our fourth Super Bowl in franchise history. Huge third down. Oh no, they're not gonna call holding after we already got the first down. I'm not even sure Nate Green was on that side of the formation, so that's fantastic. All right, third and eight. Third and eight, here we go. Gotta watch Bosa here. Oh, get off me. Zaire Johnson wants zero part of giving the ball back to the 49ers. We are one first down away from a Super Bowl. And you already know this ball, this ball is not leaving Zaire's hands. I, he might be tired though. Let's just make sure. Okay, okay, we're good. Yeah, this ball is not leaving Zaire Johnson's hands. He has been our best running back the entire season. He missed the first few games. All right, we're going to give it to Jameer Gibbs. I said it wasn't coming out of his hands, but that was before. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. We have two elite running backs, baby. Oh, my God, we're kneeling. This game is over. We won the Super Bowl. Oh, I cannot believe it. I This is over 75 videos 
I have made in this series. We started so, so long ago. Thank you to everyone, anyone, if you've watched any of these videos. I appreciate it so, so much. Definitely hit that subscribe button, though, on your way out. If you enjoy this content, if you like MLB The Show content, that's coming as well. But let's talk about Phil Holcomb here. We drafted him with the sixth overall pick. We got rid of Russell Wilson after one season. He was abysmal. He was abysmal. And Phil Holcomb, in year four, takes the Broncos to their fourth Super Bowl in franchise history. Let the confetti rain. No Jerry Judy, no Cortland Sutton, no Marvin Mims, no Javante Williams, no Russell Wilson. Yet that Lombardi Trophy, baby, is coming back to Denver where it belongs. Hoist that thing, Phil. He's just rocking it like a baby. There we go. Let's see the highlight montage. Phil Holcomb to Ray Hodges. Zaire Johnson in the end zone. Nate Green down the sideline. A huge play early in the game. And how about Quez Watkins? Phil diagnosing the defense. How about that? A little gunslinger. Ray Hodges, his fourth touchdown in two games. And the Broncos take the Super Bowl 24-14. to Phil Holcomb was spec. Spectacular after the Bills playoff game. He had 10 touchdowns to just one pick uh, after the Super Wild Card round. He was 12 for 16 for 136 and 2 in the in the Super Bowl. Zaire had his third straight 100 yard rushing game. Jameer Gibbs added 71. Ray Hodges, as I mentioned, another touchdown. Quez Watkins was great. JT Booth didn't have a catch. Didn't matter. Defensively. Kevon Richards had another sack. He's had a sack every game this postseason. Zach Allen with two, and Justin Simmons, who is no longer a Denver Bronco in real life as of this week, gets an interception in the Super Bowl as the Broncos take down the 49ers 24-14, to and that is all she wrote for replacing Russ. It took five seasons from the start one with Russell Wilson four with Philip Holcomb that included injuries multiple injuries Baker Mayfield Drew Locke was back didn't matter Phil Holcomb did not crumble under the pressure he took the Broncos back to the Super Bowl in year five and that's it that's it this is the last episode of replacing Russ we are out we are on top as champions I will see you guys next Madden Hit that like button. Hit that follow button. I will see you guys next time.